Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 12 part video series showing you how to create EMRK house. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. So click on new. And then click on architecture template and press OK. So we're going to start on level one. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in grid lines. So it's under architecture and then grid line on the right side. You can even type in GR. So you can type in GR and you'll be able to add in grid lines. So the purpose of us adding the grid line is so that you guys uh, can follow along. So, but most of the time, grid line is used so that um, structural engineer architects can add in the support or the column. So that's one of the reason why we add in grid lines. And also, when you are like, for example, if you have a big floor plan and you want to ask a question to your client, you can refer to those grid lines in order for them to know where to look. So it's, it's basically a good way for you to direct them where to look. So here, we're going to add in a grid line vertically. So make sure it's 90 degrees. So we have number one. And then press escape. Click on the grid line again. And you can type in CO or click on this icon. That's the copy command. And then once you click on the copy, we can then type in our dimensions. For this one, we're going to type in 3500. And as you can see, it stopped here. So the reason for, for it to stop is because we didn't check the multiple I or the multiple that are located right here. So we're going to type in CO again. And then you need to check multiple so that we could add it multiple times. So grab it again and go on the right side. We're going to type in 2100. And then again, 2100 again. So once you're finished, press escape and then escape again. In this way, we could grab all of them and then just drag it on the right side so that it's centered. And then let's type in GR again or grid line. And here we're going to start at the top. And we're going to add it horizontally. But we before we do, press escape and then escape again. It's because we're going to zoom in here on the grid bubble. And then we're going to at least double click it or click it twice. Um, we're going to change it to letter A. So now it's still selected. Type in CO. And then drag it below. And you want to make sure that you're 90 degrees and you can see the angle right there. So first dimension that we're going to add is 7,350. The next is 5,300. 
next will be 6250 next will be 3100 and then lastly we have 1800 press escape once you're done and then now we want to make sure that everything is centered so we're going to select it again and we're just going to put it in the center the reason for that is so that uh, every time we select elevation it will be shown on our elevation if it's too big you can drag this and then move it on the right side and this one up and down so that's one of the reason we want to center everything so now what I'm gonna do is I'm go going to press escape click this once and as you can see there is a dash line here indicating that once I move this everything will move all together so here I'm gonna move it upwards like that and basically we're just cleaning it up and then after that we're gonna add dimension so you can type in di and then you could add in dimensions on each grid the reason for this so that you guys can see all the dimensions that we created with the grid line so here so most of the time you add dimensions on every grid and then you put in the overall dimensions okay so press escape once you're done so next thing we're gonna go do is go to our elevation so we're gonna go to our south elevation we can even go to our north so let's go back to level one and here you can even double click here so this will be our east elevation so double click here and automatically you will be go going to the east elevation and here what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in one more level but here level one to level two we're gonna change this to 3200 press escape click one of the bubble and as you can see there is a dashed line indicating once we pull this up everything will pull after that press escape again click on one of this level so level two and then type in co and then move it upwards and then type in three two zero zero so we have our first to second and then second to third so that's our levels and you could press escape now and if you notice we don't have the level three here but we created the level three so what you're gonna do so that it will appear here is you need to go to view and then in view go to plan views floor plan and here you'll be able to select level three and then press ok once you do as you can see we have a level three right here now let's go back to our level one and i don't want to see this so to close all of them all together you can just click this one so it's basically closing all inactive views so we just want to concentrate on level one first so that's a fast way of 
cleaning up your drawing. So now, what we're going to do is, we're going to add walls. So, go to architecture and then click on wall. And we're going to use the generic 200 millimeters. So you can even use whatever you want here. The only purpose that you want to do is to duplicate all these walls. So this one, I'm going to go to edit type and then duplicate. And then I'm going to change the name to exterior wall number one. Luckily, I don't have anything here, but if you have um, a lot of assembly, wall assembly here, you can just keep on deleting them until you have only this. So I know on Revit 2021 to 2022, um, you don't have the generic uh, wall anymore, and you always have those. So it's basically the same thing duplicate that and ju just delete and then here i want my thickness to be 300 and then my wall to be white so i'm gonna use this clad white for now press ok and then ok Okay, now let's start with A1. So here you want to make sure that wall center line, this is already checked, so that's good. And then unconnected, you will need to go to level 1 to level 2. So that's very important. So base constraint to be level 1 and top constraint to be level 2. Now, click on A1 and then up to A3. Go down up to B3 and then go back to B2. Go down up to C2 and then go to C4 and then from C4 I want you to go down to 4100 so type in 4100 and then I want you to go beyond here around 500. Go back here to D. So you just need to go to D and then go back to D4. And then I want you to go down up to E4 and then E3 go down to F3 and then here go all the way to F1 and then go back all the way to A1 to finish. Press escape and then escape. So one thing I want to change here is I want to move this all the way here. So that's on F and E2. And then after that, here 
I'm just going to click on exterior wall number one and then type in CS. CS meaning create similar. It's a fast way of uh, selecting and creating the same one that you selected earlier. So now around 500 from F. So 500 from F. I'm going to create this indention. So this will be around 2800 and then close it again like that. And then here, what I'm going to type is TR, that's trim and extend. So we're going to trim and extend here and then trim and extend here. And then there we go. We're going to continue in the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.